Hey guys, what is going on? So how is it going? Are you working towards your goals? Um, or are you struggling and trying to figure out how to generate leads online using social media? My name is Brooke Oaks and I wanna to talk to you a little bit about generating leads on social media and different methods that you can use to attract people to you. So if you're new on here, I'd love to hear from you. If you're uh, a returning visitor, welcome. Go ahead and say hi as well. Yeah, so generating leads on social media. You need to be intentional with what you're creating, the content that you're creating, who you are talking with, um, what it is that you're saying. You know, each platform has its own type of engagement, its own type of follower. So when you're creating your content, you wanna make sure that you're creating content in a way that they like to consume. So for instance, Facebook has some really cool options where you can do video, you can do stories, you can do written posts, um, you can create a quick post. And if you watch um, the way some of the algorithms work, stories, lives, and those written posts with like the colored backgrounds tend to get some uh, higher uh, visibility in the algorithm. Also having images boost your algorithm a little bit. Um, then if you're on Instagram, you know, they kind of look at who you're interacting with, how you're interacting. Um, Twitter, people on there don't tend to look for videos and things like that. They're more looking for a quick conversation. They'll go in and out and talk with people. Um, and it gives you an option, you know, just for a little space to write something, right? So uh, LinkedIn, another one, you know, they've, they've all got their little ways of allowing you to uh, connect, network, promote. And so when you are in these different platforms, there are some things that, you know, you want to consider for one is who is it that you're talking with? What is it that you're saying to them? If your message is too general, people may just kind of turn away because they feel that it's not really speaking to them. So you want to make your message clear and specific. So like if you have a topic that you want to talk about, um, a lot of times it's really good to break it up into little pieces and you can um, just like share bits and pieces off and on, right? So each day you can go and do a piece here and do a piece here and do a piece here, but it's all this big piece of content, right? So that makes it a little bit easier for you to create your content. If you are um, making your message too general, sometimes people don't feel that they need that help. They don't understand what it's for. So the more specific it is, the better it is for you and the people that you're trying to help, right? So when you're going to create your content, you wanna have an idea of, who it is that would need your product. Um, so for example, maybe it would be someone who is a mother, someone who works in an office, someone who um, has poor skin, you know, it could be someone who's looking to lose weight for summer. It could be someone who's trying to get their finances on track. But you want to try to make sure that your message is specific because you have these general things and you're going to specifically say to them what your message is, right? So like if you're in healthcare, um, maybe you... Uh, are doing something along the lines of weight loss. Well, there are different things, different topics that you can cover. You could cover top types of food. You could cover um, different supplements. You could have her, uh, sorry, I'm like <laughs> reading my messages as they come down and it's coming out in uh, what I'm saying. You could, um, what did I say? Supplements, types of food. You could do... 
uh, exercise. Um, so make it specific to, you know, a specific thing. You want someone to feel like I need that. So if you were to read it and you were to see it, would you feel like I need that? Um, so when you are creating your content, you can go like if you are trying to cover the broad topic of weight loss, each of those little things could be a daily topic that you would do, right? It's broken down into these little pieces and it makes it easy for you because you've got a week's worth of content um, all wrapped up in one um, and it makes it easy for the person because they're like, I need that. I want to more know, I want to know more about that. Um, your job is to create curiosity. The more curiosity that you can create, the more it's going to reach out to people and they're going to say, hmm, I want to know more about, hmm, is this going to help me, right? Um, and this Wednesday, you know, I'm actually hosting a free webinar and they're doing a live demo on how to do some of these things on social media. So you can actually attract leads to you instead of having to run around chasing people and sending messages all day long saying, hey, 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 why aren't you answering me and just getting crickets? It's easier for you to create content around a topic that people want to know more about to draw them in. And on Wednesday, they're going to show us exactly what they do and you're going to get to watch them do it in action. How cool is that? So if this is something that you think could help you, you know, feel free, go ahead and register. I put a ticket in there. Um, I did also post the registration in the title of this video. Um, and you know, I believe they're going to have a replay. They don't let me post these live anymore. Um, so unfortunately, like if you're interested, I would suggest you register. And if you can't watch it at the time, I believe they're sending out a replay afterwards. Um, so that's super helpful, right? And then, you know, you can go out and while my suggestion is while they are doing this live demo, go in and just, you know, poke around and try some of it. I have seen people during some of these live demos, they do a lot of live demonstrations um, for the webinars. And um, they, if you, I've seen a lot of people that try it as we're learning it, like in the webinar, they'll be on their phone doing it or open up another tab on their computer and they actually find it working and then they'll post in the comments, oh my gosh, this just happened. You know, so it's really cool at these demos because you get to see people trying it as they're watching it. You know, it you want to know, you want to know that it works, right? And it's free. So, you know, why not? But <laughs> So I hope this helps uh, someone, you know, just... If you're trying to get leads on social media, create that curiosity, attract someone to you um, by creating content that they want to know more about. That will help you so much in the long run. Um, so feel free to come hang out on Wednesday. If you want some more tips and tricks, uh, feel free to also reach out and I will send you some information about my newsletter. I do twice a week share some tips and tricks to help you and you also get a free content creation planner and map. So I hope you have a great day guys and I'll talk to you later.